Yes, and uh, I think that I have a question. Um, let's see like this. Uh, I start struggling a little bit with uh, time, uh, with uh, schedule. And I want just to share that with you and to see what you can tell me about it. Uh, this is the circumstances or what, or th this is what happens. So I uh, do the morning yoga each day for almost an hour, 40 minutes, something like that. Uh, and then I need to go at work for eight and more hours. Uh, this week we need an extra 40 minutes of those. Uh, uh, it's week three of Connect Now. So those power something, which I didn't do because I went to my parents' home in another, another town with my daughter. And uh, then it's pretty rude to jump in front of them because they will be really confused so i just stick out with the, with the yoga stuff and uh, when i finish with my work i really want to go with my daughter to the river to catch the sunlight and to bed with her because it's holidays and everything for her so i can do some stuff later on in the evening and uh, what what is here uh, with me Two, it's another uh, that 21 day challenge of something which is uh, really good and now I have two uh, challenges working on a full-time job and uh, trying to go with uh, my daughter uh, around because our friends are here I need to spend some time with my parents too I like to do that and I want to do it because I wasn't here for several months. We are living in separate uh, towns, uh, cities and everything. And now it's a little bit struggling. I try to wake up really early, work on everything, but uh, I count that I will need to do uh, at least four hours each day of Connect Now and the other challenge and everything, uh, yoga stuff, just for me. So. I'm able to spend two for now, and I'm a little bit struggling with that. Okay. So, uh, what what do you I think, think I've got it. about that? I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. So, <laughs> when it comes to time, because that's what this is all around: is how do I arrange time to be able to fit everything in? How do I arrange my 24 hours that I have in every single day to be able to not be overwhelmed, but be able to be able to push myself? so that I can still grow and learn and become more, but at the same time, stay, ba uh, stay balanced. That's why Connect Now was designed, for that exact reason, because that I got to that understanding of, um, first of all, I started to see the results that I was able to install in, in other people, and it blew my mind that when we get organized, first of all, up here, and then we can start to organize other things in our life. The things that bite most people, the things that burn most people, doesn't even happen to us anymore. Because so we've got to be organized, but at the same time, we've got to be balanced. Now, here's what I would say, um, because you've asked me for my opinion, and this is what I'll give you. The, there's a part of us that, especially when it comes to people like us, we very often bite off more than we can chew. And it's because a part of us says, oh my God, I now want this. And we get swallowed up into something else. And what I found with that, uh, that level of activity is that we become a jack of all trades, a master of none. And this is what my uh, Bulgarian coach said to me when, before we made the decision that he was going to fully, you know, fully coach me and literally get me to become the, the English champion, for him to be able to do that, he needed to know that I wasn't gonna have any distractions. And there were things in my life that I had to give up that I had a lot of interest in. And back then, girls was one of them for me. And it was a biggie to give up because you know, at that age, you know, guys want to look at Tarek. Tarek's still like, yeah, so my brother, I know where you're at. Look, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> okay. So, so back then, um, w when that was mentioned, and he said to me, he said, look, do you want to continue to be a jack of all trades? He goes, because you can. He said, but if you want to get to become a master, and he said, and I don't know if you're going to get any other chances in your life to become a master. He goes, because I'm a world champion twice, and I can 
relax, you know, I can share with you what got shared with me that made me world champion. And I can relay that information to you. And he goes, and to me, you know, make you the English champion. He goes, it's not going to be a problem if you're committed. He said, otherwise, what's going to happen is I'm going to push you hard and then you're going to go and give up. Or I'm going to push you hard and you're not going to be able to give it the time, the attention, because we've all got 24 hours. And there is a part of us, like I had, I used to have this massively. I used to have a huge FOMO complex, like the fear of missing out. I used to hate it. If there was something going on, I wanted to be in it. I want to be around it. I wanted to, I wanted to, I just wanted to be there. That way of doing things um, leads to burnout, in my opinion. Because, because what, oops, hang on a second, let me just mute. Somebody. Oh, okay. uh, sorry. It's uh, it, it is my uh, phone. I will just. Uh, I'm connected at my work, right? And I will disconnect it. And it does what I need to maintain, but not now anymore. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, so when we commit to something, what I've learned is is to fully commit to it. Now, because at the moment, what you're saying is time, and you want time with your loved ones. There's time that you need to spend on your on your, your work, your business. There's time that you need to spend on you to make sure that you are functioning well. Because I know what's in Connect Now, um, what I would do is I would delay the other 21-day challenge, whatever that, that is. I would just delay that until... It will finish for two days now, and I know that, and it starts before this one, so I just uh, overlap. But what you told me about the FOMO, uh, I'm getting there, and that's something what I pick up, and I will uh, apply that to my life, uh, because uh, there is uh, lots of other things, but I want to finish this one. Yeah. So uh, you give me an answer. Thank you. And uh, I remember from your uh, past talk from the mind activation about your coach and everything. Uh, it's in, I think, week two or something like that. Uh, that week, what we can still hear, <laughs> not this, the part three, what you need to repeat. Okay. Uh, so, yes, uh, I just struggle a little bit uh, with all that and I will learn. So I will try to uh, just focus on, on uh, this program for the next six months and uh, pick up whatever I can from now. So, it's powerful. Uh, it, it, and, it, and it's really important yes. to know the, 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 the power that you'll gain from this because what we're gaining is being activated to reach the next levels, but learning how to keep balance when we're growing. Because the only way we can grow is outside of our comfort zone. We never grow inside of our comfort zone. We just don't. We set yeah. we look for excuses. Like I had a board meeting this morning and and I had to come down hard on, on, on one of the guys because when I asked him certain questions, I realized that what came back was excuses that he was making about him not having to be a responsible parent. And I said to him, I said, mate, if anyone's going to be involved in what we do, we take on responsibility in every area of our lives. And I'm sorry, but what your wife is doing right now, the way that your kid came to spend some time with you last night and all you want to do is carry on watching Netflix. I'm sorry, dude, I said, that's not conscious behavior. I said, your child is now going to know, oh, daddy doesn't want to spend time with me. I said, whereas your wife is pregnant, she was taking a long shower and because your child, your child had a, a, um, a nap in the afternoon, she wasn't in bed at 10 o'clock at night. And you're seeing that as a problem? I said, dude, I've got to be honest with you. You're the problem. Yeah, of I said, course. Not child, not, the, not your wife. I said, it's you. And he was like, oh, my God. Because when we become the change, because there's nothing wrong with being hungry for more. There's nothing wrong with wanting to go out there and get more in life. That's how we grow. In fact, we need it. You know, it's a scent. It's like fuel for us. But because I know what's um, what you can gain through Connect Now, I just wouldn't have any distractions right now. I would really fully commit to this. Fully commit to the activations. Fully commit to the home play. Fully commit to organizing. To, because what Connect Now does is, as you go through this, this is creating a new lifestyle. So that no matter what other opportunities come up, because there's always going to be the next opportunity. There's always going to be the next thing. The next, that, that's how we grow and evolve. However, if we are knocked out of balance in going for that, 
then we shut stuff up. You, you know, your beautiful little daughter, you know, who just comes and, you know, hugs you in the middle. She's in that place where she's just a bundle of love. And yeah. it's so important that she sees you being organized. She sees you not biting off too much, but biting off enough so you stay hungry for the next level. But she sees dad growing and expanding and becoming more and being organized and nice to be around. That's one of the most important things. It's so important for you to become uh, that person where you just love who you become because that's naturally going to come out to her.